This is my new Diewall Coastal. It's a 10 foot medium um, spinning and plugging rod. This is what you call a 30 70 split because the butt end is only 30%. The rest is 70%. So it actually feels like a one piecer. It has a lot of backbone at the base right there because that's where you want the rod to be stiff when you're plugging. Okay, deciding on either the Saragossa 6000 uh -huh. or the Sparrow 6000. Basically, they're the same reel. They have the same amount of line capacity, uh, same max drag at 22 pounds. Uh, they both have sealed um, handles and bodies, which is very good. Um, the only difference really is in the bearings. One is five plus one, the other is four plus one. So. We'll see what my decision will be in a moment. This is the information on Saragossa. This is the information on the Spurls. Virtually identical. The main difference is in the bearings only. Okay, right now Ken is putting the backing on. We're using 20 pound test J braid. It's going to be a different color from the main line. The main line we're going to use is going to be Jerry Brown 30 braid. Reason for a different color and a lighter backing is it's going to tell me how much line we're going to have left when we get down to it. And you, you want to go with a different color so you can see that separation. Okay, now Ken's gonna put on the 30 pound Jerry Brown. This is braid. Uh, the backing was 20 pound test J line. We're putting blue braid over green so we can tell when we're coming down to the last 30 yards. Um, this was suggested to me by my good friend Joe Olivas, so I'm following his suggestion. Aloha guys, this is Chris for Scuba Chris Videos. I just got this beautiful Sparrows 6000 Shimano reel. I'm going to be plugging with this light plugging, meaning that I'm not going to go for anything really big or areas that have big pelagics along the shoreline. I'm going to be hitting mostly reef species, so um, I decided to go with the 6000 because my friend Joe Olivas from Kauai heavily suggested this, gave me his reasoning, and I agree with it. So this is not quite a unboxing because I bought this from Charlie's Fishing Supply yesterday. And what I wanna do is show you what was done, which was basically add line to it. Okay, got the handle, reel. Okay, inside you got your instructions, parts list, extra washers okay. a couple things to note this has a manual bail which means is that when you throw your line out and you turn the handle it's not going to click back you have to manually flip it back if you don't like the feature you shouldn't be getting this or the goes saragossa because it has that feature okay you have your handle Take the paper off, take the plastic off. Okay, normally when you tighten things, you go to the right, but on this, you go to the left. Bingo, it's done. Okay, beautiful thing. Uh, another thing about the sparrows, the sparrows is a SW6000. SW means salt water. This 
lot of spinning re reels would be rated for salt water and fresh water or just salt water. This was rated for salt water, which means that it had um, waterproof bearings. It has seals in, in the handle as well as the body. So it, it, it can take the salt water spray, but you still need to clean it off afterwards. One of the, the other differences is, is that, you know, look, no line keeper, okay? This one, you're going to have to either use a rubber band or just get a band for your spool. That's not a problem. I bought this for um, plugging, only for plugging. I, it you can spin you can spin cast with it. You can uh, bake cast, but I, I bought this mainly for plugging. It and the reason why I chose the Sparrows over the Saragossa was uh, basically because of the gear ratioing. Gear ratio on this unit is 4.6 to 1 whereas the Saragossa is 5.7 to 1. Basically that means this has more power, low end power for every turn as compared to the Saragossa which was more for speedier retrieval. So when you're bringing in your, your line and you're jerking the rod for your walking the dog um, crank retrieval. If you use this reel, it's going to give more of a chugging, sharper chugging action, which would throw the water over the front of the lure as compared to the Saragossa, which means that the lure will be coming in faster and it'll be coming in underneath the water, more like a submarine. Um, there's no right or wrong reason for choosing a Sparrows or a Saragossa. Um, it's just for my type of fishing, I prefer the, the sparrows because it will match my style of fishing. So basically put, if, if you were to compare this with cars, and if you have a heavy boat with a trailer, what are you going to do? You're going to get a truck with low-end torque power to tow your trailer, or you're going to get a sports car with a high-performance engine. Of course, you're going to get the, the vehicle with the power. Same thing with this unit. But you, your style might be different than mine. You might prefer the higher speed, so get the Saragossa. Okay, what makes this very close to the Saragossa is that, like I said, it does have the manual bail that you have to manually flip it back. It has this big egg handle. Now, very rarely you're going to see large size handles on smaller reels. Normally, that's reserved for the bigger reels. And what's good about this, if you have a feel of it, it's not smooth and slick. It gives you a nice grip, especially when your hands are wet. And you know, when you're out there, most likely your hands will be wet. You can take the handle off, take the cap off on the other side, side screw it on. So if you're right-handed, left-handed, this is the right reel for you. Like I said, it's a waterproof drag system inside. You have um, seals here and over here. So it, it keeps the majority of the water out. The max drag, is 22 pounds same as the Saragossa and if you look at the line capacity line capacity for this <clears throat> is rated at 195 yards for 50 pound test power pro braid same as the Saragossa okay now what I did on this was different it was a suggestion by Joe Olivas I have even though it's rated for 195 yards of 50 pound what I did is I put backing on it. The backing is 30, uh, I'm sorry, the backing is 20 pound braid and it's a green color. So after the 30 pound, I mean, I'm sorry, I keep saying, after the 20 pound braid went on, that was 30 yards. I put on 250 yards of this blue line, which is rated at 30 pounds. Reason why I did that is because when you're almost gone with this line, if you're getting a big fish, you want to know how much line you have left. When I see a different color, it's going to tell me what I have left. Plus, since it's 20 pounds, um, meshed, meshed with the 30, you're going to get more line in China. So I have a total of 280 yards of line, almost three football fields. So that's pretty good in itself. Um, so it depends on your style of fishing. I personally like the sparrows because it's going to match my style of fishing um for your style of fishing if you want to go with like say um 
metal jigs, maybe um, have, having a higher retrieval speed with the Saragossa would be better for you. But since I'm going to be using plugs, this is what I want. Now, a good example of a plug is this one here. Now, this here is rated at 43 grams. Um, I'm not much of a metric person, so it, what I do is you get your lure and I make a little label. On the label, I, I put down how many grams, I mean, ounce, the grams would be in ounces, would be 1.52 ounces. I'm gonna put that right up here like that. Now you gotta remember, that's the top part of the lure. The fish are gonna either see the side or the bottom, they're not gonna see that, but I'll see that. So I will know what I have at all times because when you start building up an arsenal, you kind of know what you have to use. So that's the reasoning for that. If you don't want to do it that way, then you're going to have to bring one of these automatic um, digital readouts and do your conversions, which is kind of humbug. So I prefer to put the tags on top of the lure. Okay, thank you.